And we can adjust this logo as well. So. All right, we are getting started right now with our first match of the day. This is going to be Team Jade versus Team Ruby uh, for our kind of our exhibition finals, I guess would be the best way to describe it. Yep. Yeah, I think that's probably our best. Our I like to say finals and grand finals. I don't want to. Don't want to downplay it because these are two pretty good teams. Oh yeah, that's definitely. Uh, both these teams have been matched up before. They're matched up last week, actually. We're seeing kind of like a replica from the weeks prior. And what what was the outcome of the last one? Do you remember? I can tell you with my uh, cheat sheet here. So we had Jade come out with two wins and Ruby walk away with one win. So we had the first win by Ruby, and then uh, Jade came out. Uh, right after that. Well, I suppose I'd be patching you up. Oh, and we got a pause. So your screen is not frozen. Someone has trouble with audio. And some people are being funny. <laughs> hey, oh, thank you. Alright, I'm going to step away here for a second so you hear the uh, sweet sounds of the Ignite Gaming Lounge. Sorry guys for the short delay here. A couple stream ish or uh, mic issues, but Never that's fire, back in action. Yep. All right. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Oh, our innkeeper. All right, so let's see what we got here out of our teams. Um, if this no is the real case that we're doing this, we got some big changes here. Nope, there it is. All right. So again, let us know if there's an audio uh, balance issue. We want to get a nice even here between our voices and the game. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so we've got ourselves another Ryan v. Ryan. Wouldn't be Chicago Overwatch League if it didn't start with this, but holy cow, Jade has already pushed through that front entrance and coming around Jade the stage. Jade is just not wasting any time at all. It's very aggressive, like we've seen before. They're already around the statue. We see, I'm going to enlarge my view here. My ultimate is charging. We've got uh, Tremulous Sibbit on the point. We've got a little bit of a stalemate here as uh, Team Ruby's, oh man, I switched up the teams, man. That's Team Ruby on attack. Team Ruby is pushing in heavy already. And we already have Zarya all coming down on Ruby. That was fast, but the Rhine Shield, well, not enough, not enough. That's a big play out of Hawk there, picking it up. Uh, looks like they might be able to defend this point here from Team Ruby, but Shotso really picking up a lot of kills here. 
We've seen a lot of success on Ooh. his uh, Genji before, and it's really starting to pay off here. This Genji is really doing a good job pushing him back, and then you see that support there from Loth, which we said was to be expected, because he's usually a Zen or an Ana, very well, very well placed uh, support. Mm -hmm. Sitting there as the payload kind of gets itself out. You can see Jade positioning themselves a little further back there. Interesting strat. Uh, it looks like they are. They're gonna use that. They're gonna use that bend in the path to protect themselves. But they also need to look out for Shoutzo doing this Genji, Genji stealth here, coming from the side. You can see him getting ready back there. He's got his ult. He's waiting to pop that off. Oh, he's getting excited. All right. Oh yeah. He knows. I think he knows we're watching. <laughs> Loth gets an initiating oh, kill there, and here, Ripper. here we go, but quick to pop the all, which is going to completely mitigate this, Ooh. pretty much completely, and Yuge is just going to keep marching this forward, and Shotso goes down. Huge all out of Angelo, so he gets ulted, but again, we can, now we've got another big Zenyatta all keeping him up. Angelo, boy, this is, a, and we're seeing Zen again, two demanding Zen players jump in there to prevent those. Wow. So what we saw right there out of Zaldar, though, is that even though you had the Loth alt up, you can data I right through it, and he picked up all those kills right away. Really smart heads up play there. So again, another big point here is near Azari, we're seeing him play Zen, which uh, primarily we've seen him do tanks this season, so jeez. Yeah, very diverse uh, hero selection. Oh, yeah. Good. And Hawk picks up Shoutso right away, which is good as well. Hawk's at over 50 for charging right up. Again, look at it. Hawk, who is usually, usually going to be your uh, your DPS guy doing the tank thing, charging that all pretty commanding. Yeah, we see, see a lot of switches out of these heroes now, too. Yeah. We got a couple of uh, subs coming in, which really created a lot of diff like change for the, for the group. And you, mm -hmm. Alt comes down, picks up three. Nice, you nails right another in one. there. Oh, oh. the tremulous picks him up. Team Ruby completely wow. wipes. It's a team wipe on Jade right now, and they're going to be moving up. They should be able to cap this point as well. Look at and, that team uh, coordination. Amazing. Nice so, work. Yeah, you know, we consistently have seen Tremulous hitting those big D.Va alts. He's always hitting it at just the right moment to create some kills. It's not just about making space. Yeah. He's getting actual results. Yeah, we talked about that last week with the difference with those uh, D.Va alts. You can make space or you can take kills. Tremulous is doing uh, the kills uh, this time around. We see you setting up the shield here right on that decline. Doing a pretty good job of holding them off. But we also see, if you take a look there at Jade's ults, we're looking at, we've got almost the whole team full of ults right now, ready to do some damage. Andrew with that big ult. This worked out really well from last time. We're gonna see if he's able to do it again, but his shield's getting weak. And he's discorded. We got an ult coming out. Both ults from both Zarya's. Not a lot to do here, but that's running out. He's picking up some kills. Pretty heavy. Graviton comes down. yusuke has got his full shield up. It doesn't matter because Team Jade is just walking right through them and totally shutting down that push. And Angelo's had, uh, he also, uh, the, you saw the Ana ult there last minute as well as he kind of ripped through the remaining players at the end there for cleanup. As he's ripping through those players, though, look at his ult charge. He's already up to 60%. Mm -hmm. He's already ready to counter ult again. But you know, you look at you, he's up to 100. We're going to see him have an opportunity to do it. And Team Ruby's been doing a much better job of breaking down that Ryan shield, winning that Ryan shield battle, which is giving him the opportunity to break. You can see the shield breaking down on both of them right now. Angel trying to keep his charge up. But his shield gets blocked. Great job. Right back. Angelos is very, very aggressive Ryan here as well. His ult's up there. There should be no Ryan there to prevent it. If he wants to pop it right now, he can get in multiple people. Ops oh, not to. Oh, did not do which it. Which allows Ruby to kind of keep moving up. But Zelda taking up some great shots here. He's going to have his ult up as well. Diva really weak. Tremulous might not be able to stand up here, which is going to allow that Deadeye to really make something happen here. Here we go. <laughs> like Paul has done ult, the... And it doesn't happen. It's all right. Look at him. He, he knows oh, Zen's ooh. sitting over there. No, no Way Shoutso. out of position. Shoutso comes in, picks ooh. him up. My Looks like Jade's going to be able to stabilize here. Let's do it. Team Ruby starts to get prepared. SJ Ripper in the back making some pot shots. Trying to win that that Ryan battle because Angelo's still got his ult up. 
Shouto's up top, kind of uncontested. They don't have a way to get up there and deal with him as his ult comes down. Nerazuri, though, pops his at just the right time to deflect it, but... Ooh. Oh, the shield broke! Oh, the shield did not hold. Oh. And that's going to be it for Team Ruby. That was a wow. six-man kill. Wow. It's not over yet, though, as Hawk is coming in mm -hmm. with his... Oh, no, nope, it is over. Oh. Wow, unbelievable alt right there out of Tremulous. Again, he's always hitting yes. those big alts. We were just talking about him. Wow. Fantastic. Switching sides. So we saw a play like that last week from Tremulous, and now we're seeing it again this week. Wow. I know. Diva happens. And it, yeah. And I'm like, nope. Like, yeah. We're like, nobody's gonna see. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. We will have an opportunity to yeah. see it again. All right. Not bad. Not bad. That was pretty exciting there. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of times. I don't know. I mean, that was really well played. I don't know if there's a whole lot of things to be upset yeah. about on that. I mean, just the timing. I mean, he, they, they know. It, obviously, someone who's paying attention to Ryan's shield. And again, we were talking about how Tremulous just times it correctly. Because it's a little more than just hitting Q and standing there. Absolutely. I mean, and like we said, he clearly put that ult not to make space. That was to take people down, and he did. But. And not to, you know, give Angelos too much crap, but sometimes as a Ryan, if you know your shield's low, and you know that D.Va ult is going to pop, you can't stand there with your shield up, because it's when it explodes that you need it. So sometimes you gotta save it. I mean, not. don't get me wrong, when you're in the pressure, when you're in the oh, final choke yeah. there, there's a lot going on, but you really wanna make sure, you know, you're kind of, if you're gonna break your shield, you don't want it to break at that moment. Yeah. But, wow. I mean, that's really hard to do anyway. Yeah. So that shield's oh, already yeah. broken for Angelos again, and Team Ruby's doing a great job taking control of these Ryan, uh, these Ryan shield battles, but we'll see what uh, Team Jade's, or, uh, Team able to deal with that. Yibo getting oh, picked up by Shouto, right though. Yibo, their key key support too. That was a bit. That was a big pick. But Shouto goes down, and Team Jade's got a much closer respawn point, which is gonna enable them to refuel quicker and get back to six and push right through here. Mm -hmm. Those Discord orbs are making it really hard for these tanks to stay up for very long. The minute that Ryan Shield goes down, he's got the orb on him. And then he's just getting picked up right away. So look at that shield. It's already at 500. If it breaks when he's in the open, he's just going to get obliterated. Tremulous goes down, though, with the shield. And you can see Zaldar up there is now going to really start making make it happen. We got their Hawk checking him up. Uh oh, looks like we got Ripper. Ripper. We got Ripper on the uh, on the tracer there. That could be dangerous. Trying to zip around here. We got the Zarya all. Really good play here. We're just seeing. Team Jade starting to mop up this team. I don't think the current's gonna be able to make it out. The current are our, our hero highlight. Oh wow, look at that. Almost picked up Narazuri there. But inevitably wasn't gonna be able to make it happen as the rest of his team was down. Looks like Jade might be able to snag this and get us started. The uh, looks like Team Jade's got this. Yeah. I was gonna say X I also like the overhead view. Oh, Trying to pop his ult, picks up Yugs and is able to get out of there. It's really nice tracer play there, but unfortunately the rest of his team just kind of collapsing. His shots so is just walking in, and he's already got his ult. Ooh, misses a big hook there, which might allow Zaldo to get out, but he doesn't. It looks like Team Ruby's going to be able to hold the gate here. I think so. Well, I want to see if uh, if Shouto is going to hold on to that or not. Let's see if you push him when they come through, or if he's going to do it right here. Again, that Ryan shield going down again at Angelo's. Team Ruby exchanging a couple shots, but they're down a healer. Jade's doing a pretty good job here. Oh, wow. Big. Oh, Huge this is going to be it right here. Angelo's back with a vengeance. Ooh. Yeah, after that shield broke, he did not oh. like that. He's look like, at that. Look at <laughs> flame strikes. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> he said that's it. And it looks like that team wide, more or less, they're going to be moving up here. We will have an opportunity here. Maybe Shock and All might be able to charge him up here um, and contest this final point. We'll see what they're able to do here. Yeah, they got a lot of time left here as they go into this next checkpoint. Ooh, they Maybe. are contesting. Here we go. Oh, nice. We've got bro. Shock and All's beat drop here, which could be really big. Another all coming out of Another Tremulous picks coming. up one, which is good, but we'll I, see. I would say that was more of a making space all picked up. So that actually worked out really well for Team Ruby. They're able to hold right I can't the believe they held that. That was really, that was well played. They did a great job. And they still do have Lucio's Hall, which is really going to be I thought they were going to pull that as their, uh, as their initiator, but no. Yeah. We see Narazuri's got his ult as well. Uh, Loth is just about there. Yep. So Shoutso's known for this style of play right here. He's very sneaky. He's going to pick up Evo. He's going to go down for that, but so is Zaldar. He got punished, but it was an exchange. Yes, and a good exchange for Team Ruby is Team Day's not going to necessarily be able to push in with this. They don't really have any, you know, exclusive ults. And they pick up Nerazuri, and they've stabilized again, and Team Jade's going to have to fall back. We got Hawk here doing the, doing the lobbing in, charging that ult. Unfortunately, the wall does not give charge, but... No, no, no. I, he's trying to charge. So right, no, trying I to charge. Trying to charge. Right, they're moving but up. I love that play right there that you can see between Hawk and Angelo's doing the shield back and forth. It saves Ryan's shield as well as charging it. Hawk's a pretty early ult there, but now he's kneeling to deal with their own ult. The current's up there just playing yeah. hot shots, but Shock and Off pops his ult, which completely defends up, but Angelo's defense huge. Oh, and, and we've got two both the Reinhardt's trading blows right now. 7% on Yugs. He goes down Ooh. by Zaldar. But this, again, is really close. Back and forth and not able to pull it off as Team Ruby again stabilizes once more. Wow. we got some big alts, though, coming together. we got the combo of Tracer and Zarya. This could be really devastating. Um, we do have Shoutso's potential... Whole hog coming up, which could interfere with that, but if it doesn't, they're gonna be in trouble. And Shoutso again, known for that really aggressive forward play, might pay off, but if he gets picked, he's in a real tough spot. And he's so way right out of position, but he picks up Yebo. He still managed to pick off Yebo. I thought that was GG for him. Yeah, these very aggressive plays by the road. Look at them all trying to go top there. Tremulous is onto him. All right, we got the combo in action here. SJ Rippers have got to stay alive or else we're not going to be able to pull it off. And he goes down. So they got to make the decision here. Are we still going to pop it regardless? The current. Ooh, nice. Ooh. All comes out of him. 21 health left. He's getting healed, though. He's doing a nice job staying alive on that top uh, top catwalk. Good vantage point. Huge right on the payload, keeping it moving forward. Oh, we got Hawk lurking with an ult there. So we got Jade, he's got a couple of opportunities here. Yeah, we just gotta get Jade back together again. One more big team wipe, which they can definitely have and look, happen. we're down, we're at the 20 second mark right now. Yeah, this is gonna be their final push. So Jade's gonna have to push in here. Good alts here, they just gotta stay patient. They just gotta make sure that all from Zarya doesn't get eaten by Tremulous. You can see Tremulous keeping his defense matrix up. It goes down, Long Alt goes down. Another big ult from Tremulous picks up Yibo. But Angelos, the hammer down, getting rid of the rival. Gotta get on that point. Gotta, get on, gotta stay on the point. Gotta fight on that point. That damage those shots are though. Really hard to work oh. with here. He's just laying in the hole. Fully charged Zarya, wrecking havoc as well. Oh, man. Oh. Push off. Looks like they're not going to be able to make this happen here. And Team Ruby's going to take game one. Ooh, wow. You know, what's so unbelievable is that play there at the very end where they charged up to prevent that last couple second push is really what kept them unable to progress forward. One of the big things that's tough about this point is that the closer you get to the next checkpoint, the closer you are to the next spawn point. So what we saw was that Team Ruby's spawn wasn't that far away and that 
you know, they kind they of... They were able to get there. Oh! We're going to see Tremulous. So uh, here's Tremulous. Right to play the game right here. Look at that. He can see the shield. He's already getting kind of low. Getting down. Drops it right there. Really great Look play there. Look at him. Single-handedly take that team down. Really nice play wow. there. Fantastic.